I love Christmas. Christmas is my absolute favorite time of year. It's a time to reflect on the past year. It's a time to spend with family and loved ones. It's a time to think about giving and not receiving. It's also a time to think of how grateful you are for the things you do have and think about others as you're giving. It's also a time to give to the less fortunate and the needy. It's also a time to reflect on all of the shit that 2018 was. But I digress. What I love most about Christmas is watching all the Christmas movies and specials like National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, Elf, and my personal favorite, Home Alone. <laughs> oh, what a psychopathic eight-year-old. But do you recall two of Jim Hansen's Christmas specials at all? The Christmas Toy and Muppets Family Christmas? Some people have heard of either one or the other. But me growing up, I watched both. See kids, back in the day, we recorded all of our specials on VHS. So I was privileged to have both of these specials on VHS, along with some craft recipe ideas from TV Guide. It's kind of weird. But anyways... Today I'm going to be talking about both specials and I'm not going to try to spoil too much because I honestly want you guys to seek this out. Muppets Family Christmas is on YouTube and the Christmas toy is out on DVD if you want to go check it out. And without further ado, it's time to talk about our first special, the Christmas toy. This Jim Henson special was aired on December 6, 1986 on ABC. And it was also sponsored by, huh, Kraft. That's probably why I saw those weird commercials. These commercials were unique because they gave you different recipe ideas for all these Kraft products like Velveeta cheese and Philadelphia cream cheese. Like this woman who just leaves the fucking plastic on the cheese. Like what if you're going to take a bite out of the sandwich and you have the plastic all over it? Sorry, I got carried away there. Anyway... This was the original Toy Story and the concept that toys came to life when the humans were not looking. It's Christmas Eve in the playpen and all the old toys are anticipating the new arrivals that will be coming on Christmas Day. A tiger doll named Rugby remembers when he was the favorite Christmas toy last year and does not want to give up that title. Rugby has a plan though. He decides to go down to the Christmas tree so he can be unwrapped and be Jamie's favorite Christmas present like he was last year. But he forgets that if he's caught at a place by a human, he could be frozen forever. Can his friends Apple, Mew, a cat's toy, and the rest of the gang save him before it's too late? Like I said, I'm not going to spoil anything because I do highly recommend you seek this out. It's on DVD. There's a lot of catchy songs in this special. I catch myself sometimes singing it, like the Meteora song. There's a running gag with this Barbie-like doll who can't decide what she wants to wear. Everything about this special just screams Christmas joy. I love watching this every year, especially with my sister, because it's the best nostalgia feeling in the world when you've grew up watching this movie. This special screams Jim Hansen. The puppetry in this is amazing, especially with the hallway scenes, which, like I said, I'm not going to spoil for you. Sorry, no spoilers. I can't do it justice. I just highly recommend you seek it out. Now let's talk about Muppets Family Christmas, a story about Fozzie, his mother, and pretty much a big house invasion, which I absolutely love. It's a simple story, and I truly mean it's a simple story, about Fozzie's mother who wants to go to California for Christmas, but Fozzie and the gang decide to crash her plans and have a big Christmas jamboree. There are a couple little side plots here, like Ms. Piggy being a procrastinator, like doing her last minute shopping. Oh, she bought froggy slippers. Kind of weird. But suddenly she gets caught in the blizzard. 
or Fozzie finding a new friend in a snowman and them trying to create a comedy duo, which it's not as funny as it seems. Or the Swedish chef trying to cook Big Bird as the big Christmas turkey. And did I forget to mention, it's not just the Muppets that are in this special, it's all of Jim Hansen's creations, including the Sesame Street Gang and Fraggle Rock. This is like the Marvel Cinematic Universe of the 80s. This even includes a special appearance by the Muppet Baby. This is probably my favorite scene, but sadly this is the only reason why you can see it on YouTube and not home video. It's because Disney owns the rights to the Muppets, while Sesame Street is owned by Sesame Workshop, formerly known as Children's Television Workshop. It's sad that two separate company owns basically the same person's work. I would love to see my lifetime either on Blu-ray or streaming on Netflix or Hulu. While the majority of the special is them just singing Christmas songs, it truly brings out the Christmas spirit. Actually, a lot of the songs I never hear around Christmas time, only in the special, like Ding Dong Merrily on High, I Saw Three Ships, The Holly and the Ivy. They even sing It's in Every One of Us from John Denver and the Muppets, A Christmas Together, which is an album they did back in the 70s. And surprisingly, the last song they sing and this melody is Together at Christmas, which was featured in a Christmas toy. I guess Jim Hansen really liked that song, so he put it twice. Speaking of Jim Hansen, he makes an appearance in this special. There is so much to love about this special. Just the fact that all of Jim Hansen's creations are in one room is just amazing. I know these two specials I didn't go into too much detail about because, like I said, I really want you guys to check it out for yourself. I watch these specials every year with my mom and my sister and it's just a great memory for us and we hope that each new generation of us passes it down to their kids. And isn't that what the holiday season is all about? Creating traditions and passing them on to the next generation. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year's, or whatever you decide to celebrate this season. Have the best of it. The nicest gifts under the tree are the ones you make yourself. Say happy holidays with these strawberry almond bars. You blend buttery tasting parquet margarine and brown sugar to make a base. Spread with Kraft strawberry preserves and bake. Drizzle with melted almond bark. Cool and slice. Wrap with a bow and they're ready to go. Make this Yuletide apple dip for a hostess gift. Bring out the flavor of chopped apples and onions with delicious Kraft Real Mayonnaise. Add sour cream and chill. Then slice Lender's Bagels halves, arrange, and wrap for a gift that's always in good taste. You can treat someone to the fine art of snacking with cheddar.